Today we're going to look at another Zizo fountain pen. Um, they all come, at least the four that I've received for review so far, come in this kind of alligator finish, um, faux finish printed box. And it says Zizo on the front. Bifold doors open to show you everything inside. I took the pen out because it's a really high end pen and didn't want to fall out when I was reviewing this pen for you. So you can just imagine what that would look like unboxing that pen. Um, comes with a little warranty card. You can see guarantees. Um, it's three year, uh, three years on the workmanship and any materials on the pen. Obviously, they don't warranty it if you drop it on the nib or there's any sort of um, damage to the nib from dropping or forceful use or anything that's considered outside of the normal use of a fountain pen. Comes with, so you can see, four cartridges and one converter, twist converter, very simple. So. Um, like a screw converter, so you can use whatever kind of ink you want. These are international shorts, so it'll fit with any um, international short color ink you want if you prefer to use syringe fill cartridges or use maybe a different kind of cartridge. Um, also, in the box I received, I'm not sure if this comes in all boxes or not, or kind of which models it comes in, but at least for now, the owner told me that he is still shipping out cleaning cloths with the Zizo brand on it, which I think is a really nice touch for a high-end fountain pen, especially like the one I'm about to show you. And um, then a little pen holder, so it's a little leather-like, I don't know if that's vinyl, I'm, I'm assuming, leather-like pen holder that'll hold two um, pretty bulky fountain pens with a the little, there's a little um, divider inside that you can use in order to divide your two fountain pens and keep it from getting, the finish from getting beat up in the bottom of your bag or in some sort of um, briefcase, whatever, however you're going to carry it. So the pen itself, I am so excited to show you this pen. So it's pretty amazing. Like I, I don't really know how else to describe this finish to you. Can you see that? Oh. I mean, come on. Have you ever seen anything that looks like that on a fountain pen? It's very hard to find a finish that is this gorgeous. So I love, love, love this finish. Now, again, these are Zizo fountain pens. This particular model is called the Maestro. This Maestro is using abalone. So those are individual faceted pieces of abalone natural seashell and then they somehow fix it to the pin and put lacquer over it to hold them all in place because you can't feel the divisions. You can see the divisions of each pin and they look like they're faceted but there's a some sort of proprietary process they use to kind of hold all those panels in place while they do a very um, smooth finish over it so you can't feel any facets and it's got a lot of thick lacquer coat kind of over that. Just look at how just a normal camera can pick up the beauty in that abalone. I mean, it is just gorgeous. So I, I can't imagine anyone who wouldn't love that pen. Also a pretty cool um, cat band there. It's got a kind of a leaves and twigs finish on it. And then at the top, there's a just a black kind of a ball or an end cap, blind cap on the end. The other end has a section or little threads not section threads but little threads so that you can thread the cap on if you're a poster and then on the top of the cap it just says Zizo Maestro 18 karat gold plated um, that's all the metal that you see is 18 karat gold plated this is number six serial number of 500 I believe he said each of these come in sets of 500 limited edition pens and then the year that this was made and this one was made this year in 2016 so just a super gorgeous example of a fountain pen. I mean, it just blows you away. Um, the clip is more flexible than some of the other models in line. So it's not spring loaded or anything, but it's super flexy because um, it's so thin. It's, it's not very stiff, which I really like about this pen. And then when you unscrew it, so let's show you one, two. So two rotations gets to unveil the beautiful nib. Okay, and then you gotta screw it on the back if you wanna post. So it only, I don't want to cross thread it. So it just, it bites as soon as you put it in. There we go. So I didn't want to cross thread it. It took me a second to grab the right approach there. But it, it's just a gorgeous fountain pen. There's not going to be anybody that has one like that if you're using this beauty. So, and it's a very big kind of oversized nib there. And this one that I'm going to do a writing sample with happens to be a fine. 
And the only drawback I can see in this pin at all, I mean, look at it, it's gorgeous, is there is a, a fairly short section. So depending on your grip, um, you might or might not hit those threads. What's nice for me particularly is I don't hit the threads with my forefinger, just, sorry about my dogs. I don't hit the threads with my forefinger, just my thumb kind of runs over those um, threads back here and just barely um, hits them. So not super inconvenient for me. It's not like it's something that's uncomfortable, but it posts very well. And for being a heavier pen, it's not um, unbalanced, even when it's posted. Yes, the cap is a little heavier, but it doesn't feel overly heavy in the hand. Like when you're writing with it, it feels like a high-end pen that it is. So it's a it's, it's just a beautiful writer. And then on the nib itself, they have the X for Zizo. I don't know if the camera is going to pick that up only because um, I don't have a macro lens on there and the lighting's kind of funky in here, just sunlight. And But there's just a little X um, on the nib and there's not a whole lot more to say about this other than look at that delicious finish. I mean, there's not, there's nobody that's going to have a pen like this that you know. So it's well worth the experience just to see this in person and get a chance to write with it, which is what we're about to do. So I'm gonna take you to the writing sample of this Maestro Natural Seashell or Abalone pen next. Thanks for watching. We're just gonna take a look at a writing sample of the fine nib of this version of this pen.